Some casual workers of the Lagos University General Hospital have cried out over poor remuneration and other extreme conditions arising from poor welfare. And it's a tale of suffering and yet coping with unsavory conditions with some have had to put up with for as long as up to 14 years. It's now thanks to their unsung services of this initiative or contract staff that the uh, any medical facility can have worked for this long yet have no benefit to show for their years of service. TVC News, Bukola Samuel Wemimo has more. This category of workers are employed in an arrangement or an agency called Initiative recruits on behalf of Luth. This is unlike that of actual staff who are bona fide staff of the institution. There are more than 2,000 Initiative staff, but only a handful come forward to tell their story on behalf of the rest. Because of the fear of victimization, they have all chosen to remain anonymous. During this first set of interviews conducted in December 2020, three anonymous workers who have been with Luth for between 5 and 14 years speak about their grievances. They are especially disheartened by the deduction of half of their salaries over a period of two months by management, which cited COVID-19 exigencies as reason for the deductions. May 23, 2007. Employed as? As a locum staff. Okay. Because then they are looking for a locum staff. Okay. So at 2011, they gave us a paper in form of restrenchment forcefully. They now give us another paper to reapply. This category of casual staff employed by Luth's initiative system earn a meagre 30,000 naira an amount only made possible in early 2020 after President Muhammadu Buhari assented to the new minimum wage bill. Before that time, they were on a miserly 15,000 naira, which they earned for the better part of their service with Luth. Even now, as fathers and mothers with dependents, 30,000 naira is a travesty of a living income. They tell me how they pass the night in the office for days just to save the cost on transportation. The COVID-19 deductions were made in March and April 2020, while interviews were conducted in December 2020. I waited for about three months during which I followed up with these informants. By March 2021, when I returned for more interviews, the deductions had not been refunded. This time, more aggrieved workers were available to share what seems an unhappy work experience with Luth. Before they pay our salary, around they will pay uh, maybe 20, on the 15, 16, 17 before they pay salary. So I don't know where Luth is uh, for five days on calendar. So then allowance, nothing like allowance. That that has only collect like two months before COVID starts. After the COVID, they pay us half. Even the half, we don't work like 45 days before they pay the half. Then they calculate the outside, outside for, for 5,000 5, in a month, which is 60,000 in a year. We do not see anything. Presenting a document that shows a list of the contract staff and a disparity in remuneration, the workers queried the discrimination in salaries. This is somebody that I, I knew that they just employed. He's telling me he's receiving uh, 45000 the same job. They also decry what they consider poor conditions of service. Nothing like hand glove, boots, or uh, uniform, nothing, nothing. We don't have boots, we don't have anything. They don't give us any overall, we don't have anything. This is an autoclave machine used to sterilize work tools in treatment wards. According to information, it is over 30 years old. While my informant assures me that it is functional and only requires repair and regular maintenance, this is what a modern autoclave machine looks like. A medical doctor in senior cadre with Luth confirms most of these concerns raised by the disillusioned workers. Pleading anonymity as well, she points out that bona fide staff of the teaching institution also do not receive benefits like loans or the privilege of free health care. 
whether or not the government should be employing contract staff, whether or not the Nigerian labor laws favors that, and then um, also what exactly are the terms of this engagement. I mean, we have these people working for years, there is no promotion, there is no, um, I'm not sure that they are enrolled in the pension scheme. Despite their long list of grievances, these workers are not allowed to unionize because of the contractual nature of their employment. Comrade Adeguki Monsuru is a senior management staff of Luth and publicity secretary of the Trade Union Congress. These people that are employed by this company, Luth Initiative, they desire to be part of the union. Anytime the union is under any action, they want to be part of it. But because they are not allowed to unionize by, I don't know by what guess, but maybe because they are not employed as permanent staff and job security is not there, so they are afraid. There is provision in Nigerian constitution for freedom of association. Lawyer and senior advocate of Nigeria, Olatunde Adejuigwe, defines the rights of these workers within the context of the law. You see, the concept of casualization stems from the fact that you can fill some vacancies in your employment for a short period. Either somebody is away on study leave, somebody is on maternity leave, or sometimes what you call a relief worker, which must be understood from the beginning that I'm going to be filling somebody's position, so to, to use that expression, like standing in the gap for three months, six months. But when you have a relationship that has spanned about 13 years, I mean, that is not the intention of the labor law. Adejui Igwe also provides an insight into what the aggrieved workers' chances are should their case be taken to the National Industrial Court. Under the Section 254 of the Constitution, which vests jurisdiction in National Industrial Court, it allows them, you know, to resort to international best practices. TVC News has reached out to the Public Relations Department of the Teaching Hospital for an explanation of its position on the concerns raised by the aggrieved workers. After repeated calls to one Mr. Pius Ewa of Luth's Public Relations Department, he promised to call back after making arrangement with the management staff to grant my interview request. I am still waiting for the callback. Two out of the eight conventions from the 1998 ILO Convention on Workers' Rights are relevant to these aggrieved workers. They cover subjects considered to be fundamental principles and rights at work, including freedom of association and the effective recognition of the right to collective bargaining and the elimination of discrimination in respect of employment. Nigeria is signatory to the 1998 International Labour Organization's Declaration on Workers' Rights. Hence, the Lagos University Teaching Hospital, Luth, being one of its leading healthcare institutions, ought at least to be found doing what is right by ensuring that these workers, who appear forlorn in countenance and appearance, are rendered their due. Bukola Samuel Wemimo, TVC News, Lagos.